big day. Big day. Big day. Shut it. Stupid thing. Faster. Hurry, hurry. They're here. So excited about the wedding. Been dreaming about yours. Little <laughs> brat. Dead. <laughs> Come here. Stop it. I take it back. Hey, look, the groom is here. Apologies for keeping you waiting, sisters. Wow, is he really the one Mother's been expecting? I thought he would look better. He's not much to look at. But as long as Mother is happy. Not much of a looker. But quite a fighter, though. Had to use Mother's ancestral vessel to take him down. Still aching. Aren't you diligent? Such a rare catch. Why not let us sisters have it first? Think before you talk. This is the one mother is set on. One scratch. And none of us would like the results. What would this marriage change? We are bound to this ill place one generation after another. Even you like this farce. Go. Go ahead and watch. Sisters, the feast is yet to start. Don't tell me you're drunk already. Right, he's nothing but mother's meal. No need to make a big fuss over him. Here, he is all yours. You've done great. Wait. Mother has grown soft with age. And the girls are too young to know better. But can't you see it's all wrong? Yes, but try to think from her position. We're her children. This is what we do. But I am on her side. For decades, she's been tortured by her wound, all thanks to this dumb thing. And yet, she still wants to marry him. No! I can't do this anymore. Love is not about forgiving or getting even. It is never a fair game. It's about two souls woven together by fate. But I... Neither of us was born then. We never witnessed her past. That's why... We can't understand her obsession today. Have you told Uncle? Let's worry about that later. Though her joy is borrowed, it's still joy before it's returned. You, come with me. Ahead is Mother's chamber. Now listen carefully for your own good. Mother is usually nice. Only she prefers to dine alone. You wouldn't want to disturb her. And don't look at her in the face, especially her eyes. Hurry, we are running out of time. My words, keep them in mind. Go, there's no time to waste. Years up there haven't been kind to you. But you're with me now. Girls, let the feast begin! <laughs> Why dredge up the past? Aren't we here now? Don't you remember how I spared your life when he asked me to clean up the rest of your sisters? <laughs> I do remember. And more than that, I even remember how I survived on my sister's flesh after you left. 
That's not all on us. The culprit is that centipede. All would have lived if he didn't weigh my master's flesh over your lives. Yes, he was blinded by greed. But he has repented and made his compensation. He even offered that thing to sustain my life. Otherwise, I'd never live to see you today. My dear, is that true? The thing is in your hands. Uh, <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh. Even now in your heart, the monkey still comes first. The monkey? Nah, for me, beauty always comes first. <laughs> Good. Carry on with these nice words. Once I'm satisfied, I might lift my finger and tell you where to find it. You wicked hag! Can't you see your old face? Still obsessed with all this lovey-dovey crap at this age? Ridiculous! <laughs> Every day trapped in this hollow, I missed and dreamed waiting for the day to beat you right after we mate, so I can heal. Then eat! Could have saved me from your stupid ceremony and vows! What a farce! Turf! Oh. <laughs> My appetite is lost. Not just for you, but also for her. <gasps> Hideous spider, who fathered such a thing? Your fate today has nothing to do with me. I had my mercy misplaced, that's all. <sighs> what took you so long? I almost died. Now oh, go quick, your this hag, and get me down. <clears throat> Monkeys, the bane of my life. <clears throat> Why do you always have to ruin my plans? In what way am I any less than monkeys? This monkey that you love. I'll chop his heart, slice his liver, and make you eat him! 